Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy, Shermaine, a.k.a. Terramagin, is coming at y'all with some Titanfall today. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Titanfall 2. But what I also want to talk about, first and foremost, is why I hadn't uploaded a video in a while. So, at a tournament this past weekend, normally I make a video letting y'all know. And for some reason, I always run to that fucking thing on this side of Nexus. And I keep thinking I can make it up there, but I never do. Anyways, you know, I had a tournament this weekend, and normally, like... All my old time people know I always make a video saying, "Hey guys, tournament this weekend. Video's gonna slow down. You know, I'm you know I'm prepping myself. Yada yada yada. Especially considering this tournament was out of town. But yo, it was raining like something fierce the entire week of like leading up to the tournament. So I thought, yo, there's no way we're gonna play. It was raining like cats and dogs up in Austin, and the tropical storm was in the Gulf of Mexico, which that's where the Houston is obviously." closely located to so I thought okay we're not gonna play so early in the week it looked like the tournament was gonna be canceled like all right cool uh, well not really cool but all right <laughs> all right there's no need to make that update video you know face video because I won't be playing then it got switched to a one-day tournament and then it got switched to the tournaments happening regardless you know two-day tournament like it was supposed to happen so it was like a bunch of shit was happening you know what I'm saying and it's like because it was unpredictable because Texas weather is very bipolar you know it'll rain like you know, a tsunami, tsunami-induced rains, hurricane-induced rains for 10 to 15 minutes, and then it's sunny for the entire day, and it's like, what the fuck? And, uh, you know, that's what, it was just kind of like, okay, it was like, you didn't know what was going to happen next. So that's the reason why I hadn't uploaded in a while. It kind of sucks because, you know, E3 happened, and there were some things I want to talk about. Now i got to kind of, like, fish for them in my head about what I wanted to talk about exactly. But, uh, yeah, so that's the reason why I hadn't uploaded in a little while. But what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about Titanfall 2. And what I want to talk about is, I can't really give it a, a topic sentence, but it's along the lines of what I want to see from Titanfall 2 and when do I want to see it. So, you know, as we talked about earlier, we didn't want to see much of anything or anything at all at E3. I mean, most of all of y'all agreed with me. And Vince Ampella said they weren't going to show it anything in E3. And that was the most correct move in most of our opinions, right? So I'm thinking like, all right, when do I want to see something? Because assuming that it's next, it comes out next year, you know, 2016 physical year, basically, you know, it, it was either August to March of next year or 2017 or, you know, whatever. It's in that range, right? Okay. So it's like, all right, they got to show us something, right? They're obviously going to show us something at E3 2016, but when are we going to see something else? So... What I want from them, really, is I want them to be set up for success. What I mean by that is when they do showcase something, I want it to appear a lot better than it actually is. And I don't want, I don't want that, you know, that's a very ambiguous statement. What I'm, let me, let me try to further elaborate because it's kind of, I know what I want to say in my head, but it's kind of hard to say it in words. Basically put like this, whatever event titanfall 2 gets shown at like anything you know a small snippet or whatever i i don't want it to compete for shine time so i don't want it to go i don't want them to show titanfall and then show you know call of duty or something like that or vice versa like i don't want them to show call of duty and then titanfall later in the day because no one's going to give a shit about titanfall really no one's going to give a shit about it at all because if titanfall is the only shooter being shown at this event you know hypothetically then one, that's you know, it reaches out to the Titanfall fans, it reaches out to the shooter fans, first person and general shooter fans in general, and it doesn't have to compete with anything, you know. And that's what I was talking about in my E3 video that I didn't want Titanfall 2 to be shown at E3 2015 or 2014. No, it's no slap today. This year is 2015. I don't know how I graduated high school. And this year's E3 because there's going to be so much shit that I had to compete against. Halo 5, Call of Duty, and, you know, even games that aren't even fucking shooters like Fallout 4 and stuff like that. It's like, dude, it's going to get lost in transition, you know what I mean? It's going to get swept under the rug. That's why I want Titanfall 2 to be, you know, kind of like almost like a headliner, if you will, whatever event it gets shown at. And the thing is, I would like, I would like Microsoft to set Titanfall 2 up for success. And that's just the statement right there. I want Titanfall 2 to be set up for success. I want something to be designed around this showcase, whatever, you know, Respawn decides to show at said event, said hypothetical event. I want that to be the really big thing. So that way, it's like it's the main dish. It captures the audience and captivates them and gets them tantalized and wanting more. Like, that's that's what I really want 
for my game. But because Titanfall 2 is going to be multi-platform, not X, no longer an Xbox exclusive, you know, it remains to be seen how much Microsoft and Phil Spencer decide to put into the game because it's not going to be exclusive, you know what I mean? It's not their game anymore, you know, it's everybody's game now. So the question is, like, if I want them to be set up for success, it, who's going to do it? They would have to do it on their own, which is which kind of sucks because not a whole lot of people like Respawn in the first place because of Titanfall. You know, I don't think they could... I don't know how you could hate Respawn with all the free updates and DLC and shit like that. I don't, I, I don't understand that. But, like I said, who's going to set them up? Like, what, what major company is going gonna, is gonna, to... You know, who's going to set them up? PlayStation or Xbox? And nobody is because PlayStation didn't even want Titanfall in the first place. So why would they, you know, invest a decent amount of money to make it a headliner at some kind of event? You know what I'm saying? Like, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense from them. And uh, uh, what's his name? Chance showed me a good quote from Phil Spencer saying that he's not going to invest in a game that is like, you know, not not his in a way. So it's like, shit, you know, Respawn really has to show up. They have to put up or shut up. They have to put something out that's fucking great, which in the next year's E3, I think it will be great because that first Titanfall reveal, man, I was like, oh, my God, I had to clean my face. There was nut everywhere. And I feel like that's going to be the same thing in this, uh, you know, E3 2016. I have no problem. I, I have all the faith in the world for E3, no doubt. But I'm just wondering, like, when should when should Titanfall 2 be shown, and what should be shown of it? So I think I think for E3 of 2016, they obviously need to kind of go like balls out. So I would like, you know, a campaign mission shown, or hell, you know what? You could even show a campaign mission in like a in a, in a smaller event maybe in early 2016 or you know I really wouldn't want to see anything th this year honestly I'm gonna be totally honest I really wouldn't want to see anything this year so early 2016 show us like a campaign mission at a um some other fucking event that's happening or some shit like that that will be tight then once E3 2016 happens you know go all out campaign mission multiplayer match all that good stuff so what do you guys think about that what do you guys think about Titanfall 2 being set up for success? Like, what do you guys think of the idea of whatever event they do decide to show a little bit of Titanfall 2 at, it not having much resistance, you know, it doesn't have any competition? Because my reasoning is the, the, the general FPS community doesn't like Titanfall. They just don't like it for various reasons. And if you have to put that up against another game, by default, the other game is going to win. If and only if whatever they show of Titanfall 2 blows people away. And still at that, people are going to be super skeptic, you know, skeptical because they just don't like the game. So let me know what you guys think about that. You know, I was talking off the top of my dome, uh, a little bit scattered here and there. But, you know, I just wanted to, you know, talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my name is Shermaine. And thank you all for also understanding about, um, you know, the tournament and stuff like that. I apologize for that. But yeah, gonna get back to regularly scheduled videos. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about what I had to say in uh in today's video. My name is Shermaine and I'm out. Peace. Have a good day.